Welcome back to educator.com. Today we are going to follow with the grading part of the exam. Grading skills. In this time, we are going to talk about the interpersonal grading. The interpersonal grading, I don't know if you remember from the last explanation in the other lesson, it was the part where you answer an email. For answering the email, you would have to do it in, 20, in 125 words and it would have 15 minutes. It has to be a formal, e a formal email. You would have to, to, you would be given an introduction that is going to tell you why do you, receive, do you receive the email and then you would have to address the email completely and create a well-structured reply. What does this mean? Okay, so you're going to have already some information because you're gonna have the situation and the reason why you get that email so you have to start being aware of what do you have to do for the answering what is the situation where you are in that moment it has to be formal remember formal structure that is the register that you have to use as well that is gonna be the reader so you are you are in a formal situation and you have to be able to communicate yourself in a formal way, way for grading. Some tips. Pay personal interest in your reply. Think that you are actually in that situation and that you are asked about that formal situation and that you have to, to answer to the person that is grading to you. It can be different moments. It can be maybe you are the person. It can be a situation where you are maybe the person who start the formal relationship, or maybe you are answering to a person that is asking you about your qualification because the person because the person is interested in you for a, a specific employment. So make sure that you are aware of the contest, not only because it's gonna make sense for you to answer, but also because it's going to help you a lot to give a lot of information and to answer to it properly. For it, I recommend you to use like setting up, uh, setting up, uh, setting up um, information. For example, if you give more, if you give your response using things about people, about the time, about the weather or even other details that can be places for example then you are developing already what is given to you for example if it's asking you for information about your past about your background you can tell not only that you have been working for example during five years in certain sector but also that you have been working in that sector that was in some part of the world and the kind of people that were there were following a specific detail and a specific style of career and a specific style of work so that helped you for example to manage your work with a specific style of people as you see you are doing a very simple idea that is talking about the background you are becoming, becoming it, you are developing, developing it into something else, into something richer and something that is actually interesting. So that's what at the end of the day you have to do. You have to make the other people to be interested in you while listening to you or while reading your emails. You have to make sure list of with details that you have to check. If you in this time that you are practicing for the exam, make sure that you go over the common things that you are usually confused or even wrong. Make sure that also you are covering specific things that have to be covered for the exam. So if you have this short list, I recommend you that anytime that you practice, use this list to go over them. So get so you get used to automatically uh, at least once when you when you are have done the in, the exam you can go over it again automatically without having even the list because you remember that it is part as well of the exam of the tradition of doing the exam of doing the grading of answering the email make sure that you are doing it properly